Hiya, how you doing? Have you done something fun yet? Well, let's do something fun together. Like, have a go at the angel wings. <laughs> From the Sophie and Toffee um, resin box. Okay, what I've done is I've mixed up the um, glitter that we got from the box in this one. I have um, done the, the two pretty resin colorants that we got in this one. See what that looks like. I've done the foils in this one. And then I've just done two different um, mica powders in this one that I already had. Let's see how they turn out, hey. Okay, so I've cured them with a UV light. Let's see how they turn out. I've cured them on both sides just to be on the safe side. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, happy with that. Happy with that one. There we go. Oh, that might need a little bit extra, but oh wow, that's pretty. That really shows the, the detail. Happy with that one. This is stunning. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And here we go. I usually do voiceover for these ones, but I'm going to try down and cut, try to cut down on a bit of editing by just doing a voice over by recording my voice now. Um, see how it works out. I might still do a voice over. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, wow. That's for the foil in. That is stunning. I might put um, a black background on that. I'm not sure, but yeah, that is stunning. Yeah, love that. Really cool effect. If you want to know how to get your pieces when you put the foil on, um, all I did was put some clear UV into here. I set it and then I put the foil on, pressed it down really hard gave it a few minutes, took the wing out and then cut round it, um, put it back in and then I layered over some more UV resin. But yeah, that is really cool. And I'm not just doing that, I'm going to show you how to make them into a fairy. Be back in a minute. Oh yeah. So using this mold from um the sophie and toffee cinderella box disney cinderella box i made some fairy um blanks i suppose you can call it yeah, that's the right way around but i haven't done them with clothes or anything because i'm just useless at drawing it never goes right etc etc so they've got no faces but they're just sparkly people. As you can see, I got two the same there. Two that are kind of, I'm kind of, oh, I'm kind of debating whether to put a backing on this, but do you know what? I think I'm going to keep it as it is. And then there's this one. 
which I think has taken up a lemon. No, it's actually in there. Okay, never mind. Yeah, nice pretty ones. And this one. And what I'm going to be doing is something that I did with my family a while back, which is make fairies like these. And I'll show you how I made them. So, I mean, it's fairly easy. Um, let's decide who's going to go with what. I think... Oh, I'm not sure. I think the, that one will go with that one. I think definitely one of those with that. I think maybe just that one with that one. And then I think, yeah, I prefer that one to that one. So I think that one with that one. And that's how we'll do them. I'll do you a set of wings on your own. Or I might back that one and do um, a set of wings with that. So, now the easiest ones to do are the ones that I've done before. So let's put these guys aside for a minute. And I'll show you this one. So what I do is I lay her face flat, so I've got the back towards me, and I figure out which side is the prettiest, which is that side, so that's the side you want to show, and you can see you've got like a flat bit, flattish bit here, I just put some resin on here, and then I glue it like that with my torch. So, I shall see you in a minute when I've glued these on. So as you can see, I've managed to get the one side on. It's not totally straight, but then, you know, nothing's going to be perfect. So I'm now just going to put some more I'm just going to put some more there. Check I've got the veins on the outside. Sit it back on there. So it's kind of matching that one. And then put an end to the light. Okay, I didn't capture it on film, but I just placed um, some more resin down in there just to fully secure it. And there you go. There's one completed fairy. And she even stands up. Not all of them will because of the size of the wings, but this wing in particular, which, oh, what did I do with the moles? Which is this one at the top here. Actually, um, you can position them so that they stand up. Like say, that's this one. And this one stands up as well. This one that's got a different type of wing, that doesn't stand up as you can see. I have to put something behind that, but that's no hardship. But yeah, I like those. And I made the dolls completely see-through. I didn't think about the fixing the um, wings at the back, but they look okay. It looks okay. I'm still happy with that. Well, there's a little bit of cleanup that I need to do here, but that won't take me two minutes to sort that out. But yeah, I still like that. It's really pretty. I mean, obviously you can put them on flat. I just like them with that angle to them. What do you think? I'll do the others and I'll put a montage of pictures on at the end. Hope you like them. And that's everything. But before I go, the next time you decide you don't like the way someone looks, just remember, when you take away all the squishy parts, we're all just skeletons, aren't we?
try being kind. The results might just surprise you. Thanks for watching.